Welcome back, guys. It's Jason with your Hopium Free Crypto Update. Today, we're looking at Cardano. We're updating it. The weekly close is in. We are checking how Cardano is tracking against the main uh, smart contract platforms as well as Bitcoin. So make sure you've hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, bell notification icon. Links are all down below for what we're talking about today. And if you want to earn some passive income on your ADA as it sits there, make sure you jump aboard the Investor Accelerator pool. Uh, we're doing very well over there, saturation 27%. So we're doing pretty good stuff, plus the updates are keeping us in front of the game. So I'll start with the dominance on ADA. This is in a downtrend, all right? So we can see where the swings are at. The, the main thing you'll notice with the charts today is ADA is in a downtrend across many of the smart contracts, right? So uh, we're looking at ETH, Solana, Polkadot, it's in a downtrend. So we want to keep our eyes on on the game for potential buy opportunities. Uh, against Bitcoin, it's also in a downtrend. Against USD, it's sideways. That is the, the long and short of it. And I'm going to show you that on the charts as well. So this is the dominance. This is essentially the market cap of ADA uh, compared to the rest of the cryptocurrency space where, where all the money is being held. We have our highs. Our highs are getting lower. Our lows are getting lower. Got my 50% level in at around 2% dominance. So this would be all of the combined market share for Cardano in the total space, as we just said. So 2% 2 might be a good support level, currently at 2.6. So this is in a downtrend. Let's go to ADA USD, and it is currently slightly in an uptrend. It's slightly ticked up just over the last couple of days. It's gotten past the dollar fifty, but has since closed at a dollar forty-two. So technically, we're in an uptrend against USD value, which I'm sure a lot of people are interested in. They want to see what their ADA is worth against a USD. But we want to make sure that our investments are also tracking up against everything else in the market. Cardano is competing against Ethereum. It's competing against Polkadot. It's competing against Solana. There are going to be many winners. There'll be a few winners. There's not going to be heaps of them, as we can hear from Raul Powell, who was uh, recently on Altcoin Daily. This is what Raul Powell, Raul Powell had to say. Can there be 10 ETH competitors? No. Can there be four or five? For sure. Because that's pretty standard stuff. Like, how many PC manufacturers are there? I mean, basically, a bloody PC is a PC. Cool. Do you think that uh, Cardano is equally a part of the conversation as some of these other networks that actually have people you know, using them? No. I mean, I own a bit of it, but I don't think so yet. I'd say a one-sided network effect still. I know there's the African deal and stuff, but you can buy stuff like that. The reality is, is how much actual interconnection between all of the, the people on the network, applications being built on it, there's not enough yet. That's okay. We, you know, we don't, we don't know the, the answer, but we have to be honest with ourselves and say, okay, well, we'll give it five years. And if in five years it doesn't really take off, then the token's not going to be worth as much as it is today. Now, will it be worth zero? No. So knowing that, that we don't have smart contracts yet, we need to really keep a close eye on our investments. We don't want to be plowing a ton of money into something and then at the end of the day, it just doesn't work out. At the moment, everything's looking reasonably good. The market is showing signs that smart contracts will come out by October 1st. This is shot straight up into the yes zone. The yeses are thinking we're definitely going to see this. What I would be concerned with is if this started to close in as we get closer to the 1st of October. I want to see this really spread out. I want to see the yeses get stronger and the noes get weaker as we get closer to the 1st of October. So we'll keep an eye on the market and how they see smart contracts playing out. The trading volume has definitely gone up. So there's more interest coming into, into the, the market and who's betting on smart contracts being released or not. Now, the other uh, player here is ADA ETH, also in a downtrend. There's the high, next high, low, and we've just crushed through the next low. This is kind of like a no man's land at the moment. We're waiting to see whether we get a bounce off the lows. It's around 37,000 or 38,000. And of course, this is the previous zone that was a pretty good buy opportunity. So although it sounds like things are down, 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 we're looking at this as a long term. People often wonder, where is this going to be in five years or 10 years? That's uh, anyone's guess, really. There's no way to find out. But what we can see in the short term is good buy zones uh, based on history. And history shows this has been a good zone through here. You can see any time that ADA against Ethereum has dropped back into this zone, it's been pretty good buying opportunity for the next leg up. So we're going to keep tracking that, of course, keep an eye on that for buy zones. And we're seeing that they're all coming into this buy zone together, which is, which is a good thing. So we'll look at ADA Solana. It's also at its lows. This is again in a downtrend. Here are the highs. Here are the lows. 
This is sort of a weaker high, but again, overall, the major highs are just continuing down, down, down underneath the 50%. We want to see this hold up now uh, as we get to point zero two against ADA Solana so that we can get some strength back into the market and move up again. Otherwise, Solana is obviously a stronger bet than ADA at this point. And of course, Solana has smart contracts. ADA against Polkadot has also just started its downtrend. Very crazy. These are, this is moving down against Polkadot and uh, you know we're still waiting on a lot of development for Polkadot as well. So we can see it's a downtrend against DOT, downtrend against Solana, downtrend against ETH, downtrend against Bitcoin. You know, this is our first zone, second zone, third zone. I've mainly looked at these two purple boxes and this zone is a bit of a no man's land for me because there's not really too much support and resistance through there. We could see it bounce off around 1500 Satoshis or uh, 19, 1800. But really my first zone is this 2000 to 3200 level. Now, if we are looking to dollar cost average into into Cardano, what I would look for here is uh, good structuring of pyramiding. So you want to be buying in as much as you can at the lows, obviously, and not as much as we get to the highs. But pretty much as a new investor, we tend to do it the opposite way. We'll buy at the top and not buy as much as the bottom because the bottom really hurts. It hurts emotionally, but this is the best returns. So in terms of pyramiding, that's kind of where you want it to look. That's what it means by a pyramid. You want to buy as much as you can through that zone. And then this zone, you'd buy a little less. And now we're in this almost the top zone. You want to be structuring it that way. So that's just an idea in case you want to be buying into the market, but you're just not sure. You can still see the market going down. What do I do next? Uh, that's one way to look at it rather than what a lot of people do and they go the opposite direction. They'll buy a ton up here because they don't read charts and they get super excited because this, that is where all the excitement is. That's when everyone is talking about it online. When it's down here, not many people are talking about it. So not many people are buying and there is just uh, uh, less people in the market. All right. So then that flips your investment the wrong way up and you're basically buying a tiny bit here, a lot here. So if the market comes down against you, you're in a, a massive loss because most people are buying at the tops. So that's just something to keep in mind if you're looking to basically start adding to your position in Cardano. That's my zones here. You do what you need to do, make up your own zones, but I just like these as support and resistance levels. Bitcoin is a good one to have a look at because if we start to get a break above 47K and we go sideways to consolidate, then maybe we'll see some of this money spill over into altcoins and that's going to help out the major, uh, the top 10 first and obviously Cardano's in that top five. So some of that money might spill over into ADA and we'll start to see a bit of a move on the US dollar chart. Now, if all you're concerned for is ADA, on the US dollar chart, then you're probably not too concerned about the rest of it here. But it's, I think it's very important. It's something that I would like to have known more of when I was investing in 2017 uh, to keep track of my investments against Bitcoin and Ethereum value. Because if it goes down against Bitcoin and Ethereum, then we're better off being in Bitcoin or Ethereum rather than the rest of these projects. Now, if we're waiting for smart contracts to be released on Cardano, we are taking a very speculative play at this investment. There's still nothing there. We hope there will be something there. And if it doesn't come in time, that'll probably shock the market. We've talked about this before and that could lead to the price falling from where it currently is. That's going to scare people, but it's going to be a much better opportunity to be buying in. This is also said from Coin Bureau, guy from Coin Bureau. He also sees that there's a lot riding on these smart contracts coming out. And if that doesn't happen, it will spook the market. I possibly think maybe some people missed it. It was at the end of the video. Whether it's protocol developments, partnerships or integrations, the years of hard work put in by IOHK, Imogo and the Cardano Foundation are starting to come to the fore. The craziest part is that this is just the beginning for Cardano. This is as terrifying as it is exciting because so much is riding on a successful smart contract rollout. Expectations are high, very high. If they're not met, it could spell disaster for the project in the short term. Now, this would make for a convenient opportunity to buy the dip, which is what I think Charles has been doing since ADA began circulating. This is the only thing that would explain why he has so much ADA today, because even though he probably did get a lot of ADA through IOHK, there's no way he received most of that allocation. And as you can see from what Guy is saying, it's pretty much what we're seeing here with ADA. We're seeing a lot of buying through here. Could that be Charles Hoskinson buying up the dips? Possibly. 
could we see it fall and give us another better buying opportunity? That's still a possibility because we have not passed our 50% zones well and truly up here at $1.70 and then our last high here, which is at around $1.90. That's what I'm waiting for to give us more uh, strength in this market, a break above, retest, and then a push up. There is a lot riding on it. This is going to be very testing time over the next uh, several weeks and leading up into smart contracts being launched on mainnet. So don't take your eyes off it. Although the markets are in a downtrend and it feels kind of you know, uh, bearish, this isn't about being a bear. This is about spotting opportunities and opportunities come in bear markets. I don't know how people love to flip it the other way around and they want to be all excited on the way up. But if you're buying at the low, I, you can, I can guarantee you the excitement on the way up is so much better because the gains are way, way bigger. That is my hopium from this. My hopium is down here at the lows and uh, my fearfulness is at the tops. Just as Warren Buffett said, be fearful when others are greedy and others are greedy at the top and be greedy when others are fearful. So I get very, very filled with hopium at the lows. Guys, if you aren't already, make sure you're staking your ADA for your percentage returns. If you don't want to stake with my invest uh, with my staking pool of the Investor Accelerator, find someone else. But just make sure you're getting some of your passive income on your Cardano. Like, share, subscribe to the channel down below. Make sure you hit those buttons. It does go a long way to helping out the channel. That's my Cardano update for this week. Make sure you stay tuned for next week's ADA update. Sure, if there's more uh, breaking price action happening this week, I will follow up with another video. Uh, stay tuned on the channel. I'll see you guys at the next video or on Instagram or Twitter for regular updates over there. Until next time, have more fun to get more done.